<laughs> you were you were nominated for a Grammy for that version of "Loving You Is Wrong." If why, I believe. Why, why do you want to remind me? Why do you? I, I, why, didn't, I didn't even want to be in the mic to say this. I'm <laughs> giving you your flowers. <laughs> get it too. I'm giving you your flowers. Let's get into no, it. Let's no, 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 no. Now no, no, there's a story no, there. So no. wait, there's, there's a story, a story there. Nah, let's talk about. Oh, it. I didn't. Need, I don't know Rather the story. Rather than nominate me for the Grammy, right? Uh -huh. They gave it to Aretha Franklin for a fucking song that was two years old. What was this? Ain't what? nothing like the real thing one. Yeah. I think that year. two years old. It shouldn't have even been nominated. Yeah, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. Been, yeah so met the requirement. Was, was, was it uh, uh, Clive? Sorry. No, it wasn't Clive. It was pre Clive. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Oh, it was. Uh, uh, it was uh, 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 our, our Turkish. I don't know friend. who it was, uh, but they got Clive. No, I'm, 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 I'm an Erdogan. I'm an Erdogan, yeah. Right. And Joe Wexler. Yeah. 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 Mm. So it's funny because there's a video on YouTube with the. And David Bowie is. is Introducing the award. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember a side eye moment, and he's high as hell. <laughs> right, like he was like, "Hello," and he's high and swaying and chill, cool as hell. And he's like, "The nominees for best uh, R&B singer female is," and it was like, it was Mom. It was I think it was uh, Thelma Houston. Mm -hmm. um, I forget who the other who the others were, and then it was Aretha Franklin. And so you see. As they're announcing the names, you know, everybody's just kind of poised. And she's got on this white outfit, white hat, and she's sitting there like, mm -hmm. I mean, I love her. she knew that it wasn't going to go to her because they slipped Aretha in the category at the last minute. And she wasn't, her song wasn't even qualified mm -hmm. because oh. she, hadn't, she hadn't put out a record in two years. Wow. So everybody knew. All the other ladies yeah. knew what was going down. So when it came time, but how does that affect your relationship with Aretha? Because technically, it wasn't her fault. That's her people like putting it in, you know, placing her in the right places. I have no problem with Aretha except for the fact that I uh, was also booked by the same agency, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't let her up the hallway one day. She was. <laughs> Mm -mm. What does that? You wouldn't let her. She you... she was coming up the hallway, and I stepped in front of her, mm. and she looked at me like, Bitch. uh, and stepped over, and I stepped over again. Oh, <gasps> and I says, "Hello, Aretha." Yeah, bitch, like, you see me? Mm. And she says, "Hi." I said, "That's all." I just come up here every day after I get off from work and I see you and you won't speak. So I was determined that you was going to say hello to me today. You can go on about your fucking business. Shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be like. Thank Boom. I love it. Energy. Yeah. Man. I yeah. still have my day gig. 